Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So for today, we're gonna do a review regarding Easy and Co's Cleansing Balm and Vanilla Co's Clean It Zero. And I thought of doing this video because this is the first time that I really love Easy and Co's Cleansing Balm that I had to get a bigger size and they don't have a bigger size. And given that their cleansing balm is a bit pricey, I just thought of doing Vanilla Co's Clean it zero since it's more affordable. I just want to see what the difference of these two are. So let's get onto this video. My name is Gil and welcome to my channel. Okay, so we're gonna do um, Clean It Zero on the right side and on the left side we're gonna do Easy and Coat. And this is what my face looks like right now. I have makeup, that's why my skin looks really flawless. And I just tried Get Ready With Me's Velvet Setting Powder and I love it so much. So I'm just getting Vanilla Coast Clean It Zero. I'm pretty sure you're already familiar with this product and if you're not, this is why you're watching the video. And I'm just gonna insert the difference of these two on the screen. I think I may have gotten a little bit too much because I forgot I'm just gonna do half of my face. But what's so nice about cleansing balm is just it's so easy to use. You just use your hand to remove your makeup other than getting a cleansing oil and using a pad and then you just clean your face. And, and it was such a waste of money to keep on buying cotton. So that's what made me switch to using cleansing balm. So, so far, this is what it looks like. As you can see, I almost don't have any of my makeup on. And you can see the mosquito bite that was existing in my face. And a while ago, it was covered. And now I'm just gonna wash my hand and I'm gonna use Easy and Co's Cleansing Balm on this side. Okay, so this is my Easy and Co's Cleansing Balm. As you can see, I almost used half of it. I really love this balm except that i really find it pricey now given that the vanilla co is already in a big tub and it costs like so so okay now this is what the easy and cos balm looks like and the difference actually also is this is more fragrant and vanilla cos isn't and they also have a lot of different kinds for your face and the same with easy and co so yeah so this is what it looks like i noticed that vanilla and cos is more oilier than easy and cos which is like really this balmy solution like so far i really feel like they both do their job really well like they remove makeup so fast Okay, so this is the comparison of my face right now and the one with makeup a while ago which I'm just gonna edit and make you compare it. But so far with me, how I feel is that Vanilla & Co. is more oilier than Easy & Co.'s but they both do the same job. So either way, the price is just the only difference. And either way, I both recommend this product for those who have acne prone and sensitive skin because this both have been tested by me and if you've been on this channel for a long time you would know how sensitive my skin is I'm going to wash my face now we're going to use a cotton pads for the sake of this video to test if the cleansing bonds really did remove my makeup Okay, so this is what it looks like. So far, it barely has any makeup on. It almost has nothing. Okay, now we're gonna try it on the Easy and Co side. The Easy and Co side has a bit of residue. This side has more foundation than Vanilla Co's. So I feel like Vanilla Co's really does its job this one is easy and coarse and this one is vanilla as you can see this has a bit so yeah i hope this video helped on deciding which one to get and i'll see you on the next one bye